Hi everyone, Mark here from PondalgySolutions.com and in this video today I wanted to talk a little bit about dealing with uh, chlorine and chloramine usage uh, regarding fish ponds. When you live in a city or use a mun municipal water source, uh, the city uh, facilities use various disinfectants to keep the water cleaner and uh, this can be detrimental to people who have fish. You just can't add a city water source uh, indiscriminately into your fish pond because it's going to be problematic for fish. Chloramines are toxic as well as uh, chlorine. So over the years chlorine was commonly used and chlorine is uh, straightforward to deal with. Usually you can put uh, chlorinated water in a pond and within 24 hours it'll evaporate or dissipate and then you can put your fish back in. Um, but chloramines are a different type of thing. Uh, they have a much more residual effect in the water. They're going to last maybe up to a week or more. And uh, they're a lot harder to filter out. And so you really have to know what you're dealing with. The first thing is to check with your, your city uh, municipal water source and find out what they're using. And then you can make a, a plan of attack on how to deal with it. And one of the things that we've offered for the last few years uh, to help with this problem is called a Pond Fresh uh, dechlorinating filter. And it's worked well. We've had many people use it for their fish ponds and their gardens, that kind of thing. Worked well. But there were some issues with it. Uh, we found that particularly when dealing with chloramines, that if the flow rate was exceeded, the suggested flow rate, it was very problematic. It wouldn't filter out like it was supposed to. And so in regards to that and in lieu of safety, we, we made some modifications to the filter. And uh, I wanted to talk about those today so you knew where we, we stood on these things. Now you'll notice that this is a standard PF200 filter cartridge. Uh, this is not refillable or anything. It is uh, used and then disposed of. Uh, so there's no refilling the internal components. But what's different about this is you'll notice on each end the, uh, the old hose attachments that would hook up to a garden hose are now gone and they are replaced with a, uh, a smaller diameter uh, tube on the outlet side as well as on the inlet side. This hooks up to your normal hose just like always. Um, what this add-on is doing is it is restricting the flow rate down to a level that is acceptable for chloramines as well as chlorines. And we, we have to make sure that that flow rate is not exceeded. You can't just turn on your faucet and run it full bore through here because it just won't do a good job. So uh, that is one change that we've made. You're not going to be able to get um, just a, a full flow through with this thing anymore, but at least you know that it's going to work well. We use these oftentimes for topping off ponds, for using a, uh, when you add water to an already existing pond just just adding fresh water in. It's great for that. The uh, capacities on these will vary depending on what you're filtering. Chlorine it will actually do 20 to 30,000 gallons before needing replacement or they suggest 12 months of use. Uh, with chloramines it's different. It'll filter up to 2,000 gallons uh, of, of chloramines and uh, the flow rates on this are listed at about 3 liters per minute. You want to double chuck that when you get them just to make sure that your flow rate is in the neighborhood. It should be pretty safe with these restrictions on here, but um, it's always good to be, to be safe and, and more careful and cautious. So, uh, but at any rate, we wanted to update you on this. We still have the, the filters available, but they do have some modifications made to them compared to what you've seen in the past. They will do a better job. Actually, they will filter out 100% of the chloramines when you follow the instructions accordingly. And uh, you can't really do much better than that. So uh, if you're looking for a way to keep your pond water cleaner where fish are concerned and you're on a mun municipal source, take a look at the Pond Fresh 200. It may be the tool that will keep your fish safe and your water clear and clean of chlorine and chloramines. So hope that helps for you today. If you have any questions, be sure to contact us at pondalgysolutions.com and we'll be happy to help. Have a good day.